photographers if you want to quit your job and go freelance full-time sooner rather than later then listen up after my latest announcement that I've quit my job and I'll be going full-time I've had lots and lots of messages from people saying how did you do it you know good luck I wish I was there and actually you can be there as well just think of it differently so just like you for ages I was thinking oh my god this is such a risk I can't do this and then I thought well actually it's more of a risk for me to stay in a job because I'm never going to develop to a point where I'm earning the kind of money I want to earn. I'm a mum now. I'm part time. I'm never going to get a promotion. I'm never going to get a decent salary raise enough to, for us to buy the house that I want or anything like that. So I need to take things to my own hands. And it's now come to a point where actually it's more of a risk for me to stay in a salary job than it is for me to leave. So have a look at your circumstances and see if you're in the same position. But I mean, even being it's still really scary to do so so maybe try and do this to speed things up a little bit my best tip to give you if you want to leave your job and become full-time freelance is to diversify your income you can do this in many ways um, obviously the obvious thing would be to do different types of photography so for example at the moment in my job I do um, it's real estate photography and then I do weddings on the side obviously I'm leaving to do weddings full-time but it just shows that you can do two different types of photography at the same time but other ways I make income is I am also a social media manager for my husband's work. I also get passive income because anything I've made for my photography business, I now sell it as a template on Etsy as a digital download. So I get income from that as well. Not much, but a little bit. I've also created two colouring books, uh, link in the bio. <laughs> if, you, if you're if you a long time follower, you'll know what I mean. But um, yeah, I basically just self-publish some books on Amazon and I do get um, a decent chunk of income from that as well. And that's all passive. So once you've got money coming in from multiple sources, it makes it so much less of a risk because if one thing dries up, you've got all of those other things to fall back on. And also those little things, they all add up. I mean, my books, what, do I get like 10 quid a month from them? But then you add that to the social media stuff and then you add that to the Etsy templates, all of that kind of thing. And it all kind of adds up. So sit down, figure out how to diversify your income, and then maybe you'll be able to quit your job a lot sooner than you thought you could. And while you're at it, you can be a babe and buy my book. <laughs> Sorry, I've had a lot of codeine. I've had an operation. Um, so I'm a little bit funny at the moment. Hence why I'm on my sofa. But yeah, buy my book. And diversify your income. Because I want you to do well and succeed.